everybody, welcome to, this is Jason Martu, and welcome to more Curtis and Colony Dog Halloween. So today we're going to talk about a couple of episodes, and of course, um, yesterday I, I kind of made a mistake, but this, well, technically, I wasn't technically wrong about some of the, ep about the episodes' names, but, um, so... Uh, we're going to talk about two episodes in particular, both containing two uh, short episodes. So, the first one is A Cat, A Night at a Cat's Motel, and Crazy Granny Stew. Um, and then the second one is The Song of Cards and La Crack, Amnesia Specialist. So, um, I got this, the, these episodes are basically the start of the, um, things that Curtis does in, when it happens to Curtis during the, in, of how the episodes would go out. So, before each episode begins, we get this old-fashioned TV, and this guy comes on and says, we interrupt our program to bring you Courage, the Cowley Dog Show. Story Courage, the Cowley Dog. And then he goes into the whole spiel about how he became, how he came to meet Muriel and Eustace. And so, Cats, uh, that is Cats Will Tell. It's kind of a start of how the series got into the creepiness. Um, we have this hotel, motel, it's a motel, not hotel, but, um, he, so, Katz is the owner of this, and, um, he, wa he has a bunch of spiders. Um, I'm not going to tell you all about the episode, but I'll just tell you what happened, so, um, in the episode, so they go to stay at this motel. I guess they're on vacation. And they, they sit there on vacation, and they go check into this motel. Obviously, it's run by a cat named Cats. I know, weird. K A T S K A T Z, not C A T S. And he has a rule. You can't have dogs in the motel. Obviously, he's a cat, doesn't like dogs. So, they leave Courage outside. Well, and Eustace is okay with this because he doesn't like dogs either. Or his dog, anyway. So, well, they do this, cats basically tur um, gives the orders to these big spiders. And it's funny because he tells him, do something, with please clear up your web. It's such a mess. And so he sends out these spiders to Muriel and Eustace. Of course, he also sends out one to Courage. And he, and he, you know, want to eat. Muriel, Eustace, and Courage. Of course, this is the only, one of the two episodes we don't see the um, uh, house. We'll, we'll get to the episodes eventually. So, when Courage gets is being tracked by a spider, you know, he's tied to this post, and he keeps, he tries to get, you know, the lease that Eustace has around him. <sighs> Excuse me. Anyway, and eventually he bites it, and, uh, then he goes and says, Muriel, of course, cats, and of course, she tells him to go find Eustace. 
Obviously, he's asleep. He can't keep. He can't wake him up. Again, later on, you know, the series, this little things don't wake him up. So he goes back, sees you know the spider, and then he goes and finds the office, and he opens the door, and there's spiders. Of course, he keeps knocking down cats, and he says, oh, let's see how to done that. And there's one thing about cats. Apparently, he likes playing games. So, he tells us a game of pickleball. And Muriel, you know, finally gets the spider away from it, flushes down the toilet, and then after... You know, getting dressed again. Well, I see it was in a bathtub at the beginning, uh, during this episode. Well, Eustace is basically... Oh, by the way, Eustace gets captured by the spiders after we turn over in his bed. And so, yeah, see... Fight gets up to you uh, to encourage and smacks cats on the head with his racket. They leave, and of course, Muriel sees that Eustace is wrapped up in a web. All right, and she says, That's a fancy blanket that Eustace is very. Maybe we should get your one. So the next one is Cajun Grindy Stew. Crazy Grey Stew is a kind of, it's not return to form exactly, but we see this fox who's basically making a stew. And he, um, he starts to run in random, um, in ingredients like eyeballs and elephant's toes and all that and he's missing one ingredient a good old granny now he goes and finds Muriel who and cries who are being these birds and um, courage says oh I hate bird, these birds they always make fun of me and they, they, you know, make fun of him. <laughs> they laugh at him. But. So the fo this fox comes up and tries to get Muriel. Of course, um, he throws him out of the coat. And the fox decides that he's going to make Muriel into a stew, obviously. But his dink. And so Curry decides to you know, go after the fox. And he does everything from making him gamble to 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 uh he does all kinds of stuff. And he eventually <laughs> Curry just you know, keeps doing it he keeps stopping trying to stop him from making her into a stew. Um, there's a part where he basically, you know, like I said, makes him gamble and it punts into him in the face. And then, um, oh, and uh, he gets a flat in a taxi, but you know, each time, the fox gets Muriel back from them. So what happens next? Or what happens eventually? He gets to the plane, and um, he get, takes off on the plane, and the fox, you know, decides to take Muriel in the plane. And Curry's, uh, you know, gets in the plane along with him. He's like. Go ahead, make yourself at home. And he starts singing him. But Muriel starts sleepwalking. 
And eventually they get on top of the plane. And it's a biplane, by the way. And Muriel you know, starts tilting, you know, the plane to the right. And so they have to stay on the left to escape it. Um, uh, level. Otherwise, they're going to fall. And I really think this is the most... <laughs> This is for this episode. So eventually they hit a cliff, and of course, you know, before that happens, they, um, <laughs> you know, falls off the edge of the plane, and they think, oh, soon she's going to plummet to her death. But no, nope, she just goes on the other side. Eventually, um, the fox finally makes it to his home and Curtis falls off the cliff and lands right where the fox is. Yeah, crazy, I know. And he puts him in a stew. And Mario finally wakes up and she says, Oh, did I smell Cajun fox stew? And he, and she goes, What? We have a bite. Oh no! And the fox says, Oh no! Cajun Fox Stew is not for you. Next episode is Sound of Courage. Now, Sound of Courage starts out with this old man and his butler. And he wants the moon. And the moon, they probably think, Well, what's this got to do with a shadow? Well, we'll get to that in a bit. So he wants the moon, and he says, I want the moon, and is he get very bought with money? And the butler says, yes, sire. And he, um, and he decides to fire the butler. Once the butler leaves, the old man falls and dies. And so the cell is free from his, from being the old guy's shadow. So he goes and decides to pester everybody from the little girl with ice cream. And then he goes and uh, starts pestering you know, uh, Muriel and Eustace. And this is the beginning of the uh, courage having a computer. Yes, he has a computer. And so he thinks a burglar is coming into the house. And obviously, it's not a burglar, it's just the saddle. So he wakes up, you know, you know, Eustace to tell them there's a burglar coming in. And Eustace says, and when he finds out in this old burglar, he's like, "You are gonna go into the sleep in the attic," and he, you know, puts him up there, and he tells him. And then you know, I said, well, "Is he really have to be in the attic? He's in. It's so cold up there." And so the episode continues on. Uh, the cell scares you courage again. And of course, Mario tells him, you don't get to sleep in the attic. After the shadow shows him, so as you Muriel, him staggering courage since he isn't really doing so. And so then he gets bitten on the head. Can you see he's bitten on the head by the saddle? How that works? I don't know. But eventually he scares Eustace and he um, then Curtis decides to ask his computer what to do, which he says, you twit. Of 
course you have a... You, you, you mean evil shadow? So he tells him about what to do. He tells him have a pleasant conversation or move out of the house. You go, are you nuts? How do you talk to you a shadow? So he goes out to the basement and... <laughs> After, you know, finally uses his hat. And he's obviously hiding in the refrigerator. And then he gets scared. And he's and so he goes and use and uh, Courage decides to go down to the basement. And he's scared. <laughs> the cell scares Courage. Anyway, so after that, he goes downstairs and he starts clicking the light. He's like, oh, and he starts to see Muriel, you know, being tortured. He got things in his cell. And, he goes, and he eventually keeps clicking on and off and goes, stop! The cell goes, stop! I can't take it anymore. On and off, on and off! And so, he you know, tells him why he is the way he is, and he tells him he wants to be in showbiz. So, Curtis takes him outside and tells him he doesn't know any famous stars, but he does know about stars in the heavens. So, he tells him he can go out there and uh, be a part of stars in heaven. And... He asked him, what did he do with Muriel and Eustace? Well, Eustace is in the truck. By the way, Muriel has been in the bathroom the whole time. So, the episode ends with, you know, with that. Finally, it is that little quack. Amnesia specialist. So, the episode starts out with you know, Eustace working on the roof. And he and Mario tells him that the slam his <laughs> She tells him, You gotta wake the neighbors. And he goes, We don't have any neighbors. And he hits it so hard it hit it the plank hits Mario on the head and she gets amnesia. So that's why it's called that little quack, amnesia specialist. So, um, um, she doesn't remember anything, he doesn't remember Eustace, he doesn't remember Cards, he doesn't even remember her name. So, Cards decides after seeing Eustace be mean to her and tell her that you cook, slave. He goes and tells her, he goes and tells the computer to send an email to this duck named Le Quack. Now, Le Quack is one of the main villains. And so he tells him, and so he, you know, goes out there and uh, decides to tell, to, Ask Curtis, are you, and no, it's his first. price. He asks him, are you the patient? And he smacks him on the head. He doesn't know you remember. So he uh, goes in and finds Muriel, who finds out that they're telling, ask Curtis the same thing. If he's the patient, and so finally, he tell, you know, he finds out he is, that Muriel is the patient. And so LeQuack decides, you know, to try everything to get all the fortune from tickling her foot. Uh, the Curtis comes in and blasts her, has him with a, I think it's a leaf blower. And he hides. I don't know how LeQuack. This is him the second time, but anyway, he goes back in, and then um, I think he uses a 
trade or something. I'm one of these ones. And he goes back out. And, um, and the whole episode is just him, you know, trying to get get her to remember where she hides all her valuables. And Kurt's go, going back in and, you know, doing things to him. Eventually, uh, during, also during this, he decides to contact the police, knowing that LeCrac is actually not a real doctor. So he sends a an email to the police, and they um, when he goes back a second time, he said, the computer says, "Yeah, well, I have an email from the police." He goes, and the computer said, <laughs> "There's a robber in your house." Oh, poor, poor fellow. What do you want us to do about it? Help! <laughs> so eventually, you know, towards the end of the episode, he decide, he, uh, the police come in, arrest the quack, and, oh, but before that, he smacks Muriel in the head, which apparently cures him in an easier, which, According to cartoon logic, is how you give uh, what you do to cure someone amnesia, and so Muriel turns to and remembers everything, but she asks where Eustace is, and apparently Eustace has lost his memory as well. Because the crack obviously hit him over the head. But before the episode ends, he says, you see a crashed police car, and you see the crack with the police uniform. He says, wait, you are not seeing the last of the crack. Oh. So, I gotta say that this... These episodes are good. Um, I'd say every episode up to uh, even season four, which normally I say um, after each season it just gets worse and worse. This season, this series gets better. Anyway, don't forget to keep the eye out for more. Curse the Cowardly Dog Halloween Halloween Marathon tomorrow. We're gonna be talking about. Carrying speech, Bigfoot, Hothead, the David and the Mattress, and Freaky Fred. See you guys tomorrow. Like, comment, subscribe, share. I'll see you guys on the next video.